New York. Is there a problem? Another one? Central's picking up some unusual activity at the New York Museum of Art. Looks like a break-in. It's all stolen artwork, recently recovered from the personal collection of... Deadpool? That Harlequin is an art thief? Uh, no. Red Skull is the art thief. Deadpool is more of a... kind of like... <sighs> you really need to see for yourself. Kiddo, you're going to need it. Caretaker? Uh Any intel on our museum thief? Let me guess. Captain Mayo in the archives with a candlestick. Hydra Mystic. In the warehouse, no candles. Whatever Hydra is looking for, it seems they have yet to find it. Just don't let them find you. You the new guy? Huh? Sorry, the new fully customizable, heroically upgradable monster masher? Wisecracking anti-hero. Merc, very occasional hero. Whatever. I'm adaptable. Spin me off, it's a big franchise. Stop talking. Are you here for the statue too? What statue? The one my very mysterious and very scary client from somewhere in very Eastern Europe wants me to steal back from the guy who stole it from him? It's the circle of crime. That one? Well, Jimmy, my frickin' chagas. Yeah. That one. Hands up and pants down, ladies and gents. This is a robbery. I'm sorry, have we met? Aren't you... Sloth? No, no, Sylvia. Cindy? Please kill him. Sin, that's it, of course, Sin. Granddaughter of Redhead. I mean Skull. I mean Skull. Whatever. No! You never seem to have much luck with these stealth approaches. I have yet to participate in one that was actually quiet. Quiet is boring. I'm almost never quiet. And things go... Not terrible! Try not to get wiped out by Hydra flunkies while you're mouthing off. Not dying is actually a key part of my strategy. Step right up, test your great <laughs> Leave some for the rest of us. your mother. Apparently she is promiscuous.
original. Hey, for a real hit? I was born for this. I'm down to responding. Love to hear who hired you to steal that artifact if you're feeling chatty, and I know you are. Wait, you aren't the usual lady in my ear. Who is this? A uh, Carol Danvers? Why is that name so familiar? <sighs> I'm Captain Marvel. Ah, it's finally happening! Always happy to meet my fans. Centuries ago. Mojo Goose. Why is everybody picking on me? That will not slow me down. I need to stop taking jobs from mysterious internet strangers. This could have been dangerous. This internet seems like nothing but trouble. But there are so many adorable puppy videos. Not to mention all the not safe for work stuff. What is... <laughs> said knock you out! Just like old times. You are going to talk. find this place. Been tracking Hydra long? You're really pumping me for information here. I'm slightly aroused. The one time I sit in for caretaker, this is what I get. A lunatic pervert mercenary. Lunatic pervert mercenary? That's my favorite anime! Ruby.
They do not stand a chance. Count as a living legend? Or did they put an asterisk right next to your name? Annoying, as expected, but at least he can fight. Step away from the artifact. Click! Did you just say click? Yes, I did. For emphasis. Now hand over the statue. Fool! Do you know what- ah, Monologue-free zone here. It's in my contract. Sorry. Now, respect the click and hand over the- Whoa, big click energy. I like it. Want to help me kill some Nazis? Hydra aren't Nazis. Ah, potato frittata. What they have outlives their usefulness to me. See? I had your back. Right. Where is Sin and the statue? Oh. Hmm. The level designer says she went that way. Why betray her own people? Maybe she appreciates a plot twist? You first. Is this a Mole Man thing? Please let this be a Mole Man thing. You know, I'm the biggest Mole Man fan. Uh-oh. It would seem Hydra and their mistress have escaped with the artifact. Is this like one of those monkey's paw things? I say... Mole Man, and the universe gives us off-brand vampires? They're vampires, with a Y. It's a whole... Ugh. Don't ask. Wasn't gonna. So, is there some special way to dust these critters? Beat them before they eat you? Bet you can't guess how many times I've heard that. Stacking them deep today. Light will heal you. This shall be of great help.
Your fate is sealed. Vampires are a problem. At least we know how to handle them. Without that statue, not even a sparkly hole can cheer me up. Is this about your very scary client again? When he finds out how royally I botched this mission, or worse, when he finds me, I'll be... Deader pool? There it is! You go, new guy! And by that, I still obviously mean the new fully customizable... Come back with us to the Abbey. No. The magical wards will protect you. No. Hell no. You can hide there. Help us track down Sin. No! no. Fight off the vampire infestation. If you insist. Look, Ma, I'm gonna be DLC. Thanks, Hunter. You're literally a lifesaver. I'll just lie low until my job is done. Does your job always require you to steal art? That's what the client wants, sure. Most of the time it's making people sleep forever. The forbidden nap, if you will. Mercenary work is a grab bag of awful stuff, and it rules. I see the necessity of your work. You do? Yes. Some forces are too evil to go unchecked. No, no, there's a check involved. Usually signed by someone with deep pockets. Stealing an artifact must be boring by your standards. You call what we did back there boring? <laughs> I'd hate to see what you find exciting. Can you tell me more about the statue? Do I look like some sort of artsy-fartsy hipster to you? I'm wondering why it was important to you. Because looking at it made me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. You and Sin were both after the statue, so it must be valuable. It's valuable to my client, and that's enough for me. Your mystery client, who you will not tell me about? Unless I want to be on the receiving end of his punishment. Normally, I'd be into that, but he's too scary. Scary how? So scary that I took a magical portal to a stranger's house in order to stay away from him. You are welcome to stay at the Abbey for as long as you need. I'm gonna leave a Deadpool-sized impression on the couch. That's where I'm headed, unless you still want my attention. 
I have questions, if you do not mind. Sounds like somebody hasn't looked me up on the internet. Shoot. How come I have never seen you without the mask? It's physically glued to my face. If I try and remove it, my skin peels off like gum stuck on the bottom of a shoe. That sounds... unpleasant. Eh, the mask helps hide what's going on under here. It ain't pretty, and I don't want to make people barf just by looking at me. That's not as fun. Or I can be honest and say there wasn't the budget for it. You pick whichever one sounds better. I find it hard to believe you are ugly. Hey, now, I never called myself ugly. This is to protect the softies who can't handle what peak male hotness looks like. What is your special ability? I have not seen it yet. Just because I can't shoot lasers or pick up and yeet a bus doesn't mean my power is invisible. Wait, unless I can turn invisible now. Hold on, let me try. Nope, still only got my super regeneration. Regeneration? You are able to heal quickly? My healing factor can basically bring me back from anything. No hand, no body, no prob. My cells are always regenerating. That is incredible. Makes the life of a merc a lot easier when you literally can't die. Sounds good on a business card, too. Can you tell me more about your katanas? Oh, the girls? I'm so glad you asked. They never get any attention. Guns are so impersonal. I like using the old hack-and-slash approach with these puppies. I also use swords. Using them takes much skill and strength. I might not look at Hunter, but I'm a skilled-as-hell swordsman. We should dance sometime. With our swords or with each other? Both! Can you tell me about how you got the name Deadpool? My mouth is special, Hunter. I say all kinds of words with it. That's kind of my shtick. I do not understand. We all have mouths. What does it mean? It means I talk a lot. Hence, Merc with a mouth. I crack jokes and break the fourth wall so much that I may as well be the Kool-Aid man. Who were you before becoming Deadpool? I was just a normal dude, except I had terminal cancer. Then I went through an experiment that was supposed to cure me, but surprise, it didn't. Instead of dying, I got the diagnosis of living forever because of a big oopsie done by bad people who turned Wade Wilson into this guy. Wade... Wade Wilson? Oops, that's me. Well, before all that crap. It sounds like you have dealt with a lot, Wade. Uh, don't even think about it. I have a badass superhero name for a reason! Before we came to the Abbey, you said you were going to be DLC. What does that mean? Deadpool living comfortably. But you know what it means. What? What, what? I misspoke. Talk later, Deadpool. Stringing me along? How cruel. Hunter! We shall be reunited soon. I cannot help but feel excitement. We are standing in front of each other right now. Not here, but in the physical realm. You don't need to be coy. I know you are coming. To where exactly? The Sanctum Santorum. The prophecy advances. As much as it will please me to see you, I beg you not to stand in my way. I cannot guarantee your safety this time.
You are right, mother. The prophecy is... I admire your con... I... I... Who? I would not dare say his name and... Still... Is it selfish of me to say that it's our reunion? We will see each other soon, Mother. <laughs>